Welcome back Capricorn. This is Renee. This is your reading. This is going to be the next 48 hours. I've already drawn the cards um, to save time so that the video doesn't run so long. Uh, but this is your next 48 hours. This is what to expect, what's coming up, what's going on for the next 48 hours. Okay, so Capricorn, my beautiful Capricorn, I feel like you're going through a lot, you know. Um, let's take a look. We have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. If I can pick up this card. There we go. Yeah, we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Okay? And so I really feel like there's something that you're going through. I feel like you may be grieving at the moment. You may have had to leave something behind, but I feel like it's an emotional time. Something that you have just went through or just going through, okay? Um, I feel like you, you have had a loss of some kind, okay, my beautiful caps? And I feel like you're focused on your healing, on your recovery, right? There's something that you're working at. You're building. There's something that you're, you may be building yourself up after some kind of loss in a relationship. Um, loss in your life of some kind. It's going to be different for each of you. Um, but I feel like this is a very emotional time. So um, I feel like there's a lot of healing. Trying to gain your balance. Trying to... Um, get back to normal right uh, regain your stability here okay and okay with this middle energy we have to the sea so i feel like with this card to the sea i feel like you're moving i feel like you're moving on from this emotions these whatever this is that you've lost you're you're trying to gain that stability you're recovering Okay, it could be to the sea. It could be that you may have to travel for some reason. The number seven may be very significant for you. Um, it may be the day you were born. It may be um, your spiritual number, right? Um, but I feel like you're moving into a more peaceful place. Okay, and I do feel like with this page of wands, I feel like this is new energy coming your way. Um, this is new actions that you're taking, uh, something that you may be pursuing. You may be going on a journey, you know, with this page of wands to the sea. Uh, it may be a trip that you're going on, but I feel like there's a lot of truth. There's a lot of clarity coming through you. You know, there's a lot of breakthrough energy here. A lot of new thoughts, ideas, actions being taken. And I, I feel like whatever this is that you're recovering from, it's like changing you on a spiritual level. Okay? We also have the Empress. So this is the energy that you're coming into. You're coming into this Empress energy. Okay? So you may be very fertile, very nurturing you could be helping others you know manifesting something be just creating okay but this energy is very magnetic you could be drawing things into you you know using your intuition and creating things in your life okay you could be very sensitive at this time the next 48 hours capricorn we have archangel haniel you are extra sensitive to the energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. So take time out to really honor yourself. To really take notice of what you're feeling. And give yourself time to feel. Time to heal. You know? Um, but I feel like this is near future energy. I feel like there's love on the other side, right? If this isn't new love, this is you loving yourself, 
Okay, because you're in this recovery. So I feel like you're gaining more confidence. You're gaining more self-love, you know. This could also be a new love coming in for you. But I feel like during this time, this is more of a more spiritual time for you. When you're gaining more spirituality. You know, you may be praying more, meditating, um, working on your chakras, finding that healing power, you know, and I feel like you're coming to this resolve to where things are totally transforming. There's change, okay? Things are changing. I feel like you are changing, Capricorn, right? So whatever this energy is, I feel like it's pushing you into a new cycle because whatever it is that you're grieving here, you're finding this love over here, right? Because we go from building to feeling so confident and just going through this metamorphosis, this change, this transformation, okay? So I feel like it's just really beautiful. If, you're, if you are in the age of childbearing, I would be careful because this is a time when you could be very fertile with this empress here. You know, this could be fertility. Um, she's also birthing new ideas or creating new things. Okay? So, we're going to go ahead and clarify. So, tell me more about this for Capricorn. Give me a message for Capricorn to clarify, please. A message for the Five of Cups. The Five of Swords. Yeah, Five, Five. So there was some kind of conflict. There was some kind of arguing or fighting of some kind. So this could be the reason why you're in grief. There, there's something that ended. You know, and it, it ended through conflict. Okay? Um, hmm. Tell me more about this Five of Swords. Yeah, whatever this is, it left you heartbroken. It broke your heart. Could be this King of Pentacles energy. Could be, this could be your energy. Trying to find that stability after a heartbreak. Or you could be dealing with another earth sign, a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. But I feel like whatever this was, you're looking for more stability. You're looking for something that's more solid, right? Okay, tell me about this Four of Swords. Give me a message for this Four of Swords, please. The hangman. Yeah, you're doing a lot of thinking, but I feel like you're also doing a lot of soul searching. But this is coming to an awakening after a, re a recovery. You know, you're enlightened about something. You've gained that wisdom from sacrificing something in your life or seeing something from a different perspective. So I feel like whatever this is that you lost, is totally making you see things in a totally different light, right? Maybe that's the reason why you're working on um, regaining your confidence, your self-esteem, you know? Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups. Yeah, you just want to be happy again. You, you're, you're working on making yourself happy. You may be... Also reading self-improvement books or trying to improve your situation by becoming more spiritual. Okay? Doing that spiritual work. Tell me about this Page of Wands. Give me a message for the Page of Wands, please. The Hierophant. Look, we have the Hierophant here and the Hierophant there. Yeah, you're looking for that spirituality, that tradition. I feel like you, this may have been a marriage. You may have been married to this person that hurt you. And it could be ending at the moment. And now you are 
becoming this person who now leaving the situation now you are learning to love yourself things are becoming more clear things are starting to come to light right so i feel i feel like for a few of you this is a marriage that's ending that now you instead of focusing on you and your mate now you're focusing on yourself and you're focusing on your healing okay tell me about this ace of swords energy yeah the eight of cups you're trying to find meaning capricorn you're trying to find meaning of what's walking away or you having to walk away you're trying to get a better understanding okay i i feel like a lot of things just aren't clear a lot of things you don't fully understand you know tell me about this empress the seven of pentacles Yeah, you're trying to have patience. For a few of you, I get that you were trying to have a baby. And you were trying to be very patient. And the things just weren't working. The IVF, the, you know, the fertility, it just wasn't working. It wasn't taking. And you were very patiently waiting on a situation to come through. Um, hmm. Tell me more about this Seven of Pentacles. Give me more messages for this Seven of Pentacles. The Knight of Cups. Yeah, you put you put in a lot of hard work into it. I feel like someone promised you, someone promised you the world and didn't deliver. You know, they promised that you'd be able to create a family or have children together. And they didn't deliver on that promise. You know, hmm. Give me a message for this Two of Cups. The Seven of Cups, confusion. This love, there was a lot of illusion. There was a lot of lies. There was a lot of lies in this marriage. You know, someone promised you the world and then didn't deliver. And I feel like that Seven of Cups represents the times when they lied or let you down, right? That's what I'm seeing with those. Tell me about this Hierophant, the Three of Wands. Yeah, you've been waiting. You're waiting. But now since this situation is over and you're walking away from the situation, now you're, you're ready to plan for your future. You're ready to just grow, okay? I feel like you're growing and expanding. And with the Three of Wands on the Hierophant, you know, you're going through these changes. This is growth. This is spiritual growth on another level, okay? Um, so I feel like you're, you're gaining. I feel like you're gaining yourself, Capricorn. Tell me about this death card. What are these changes? Yeah, the Four of Swords. You, you, you're now focusing on yourself, on your recovery, on your healing, becoming more spiritual. You know, tell me more about this Four of Swords for Capricorn. You're recovering. Yeah, you're, you're in a more peaceful place. This is freedom. You know. Um, you may not see it as that right now, but finding yourself, putting all this love into yourself, 
taking time out for yourself is a good thing, right? It's going to bring you more balance, more stability. You know, there's something new in store for you, okay? And, and I feel like everything will become more clear as time goes on. Even though that pain is there, even though that heartache is there, you know, Capricorn, I feel like things are going to become clear. You know, you're going through a transformation and you're growing at this time. You know, so you have to give yourself that time and space to heal from whatever this is. Okay, let's get some angel cards for Capricorn. Let's get some angel cards for Capricorn. Okay, we have Cloak of Wisdom. You already know the answers you seek. Trust what you know. Okay, whatever answers you're looking for, I feel like you already have them. You know, you already know what answers you are needing. Okay, and two more I wanted to fall out. So we have Prayer and Contemplation. So connect with heaven. Connect with heaven. Ask and you shall receive, right? And we also have Dharma unfolding. Remember that you are on a path. Take one step to happiness. Excuse me, take one step at a time to happiness. Okay, so know that it's a progress. It's a process, what you're going through. Okay, I feel like this message is really intended for someone specific. Okay, um, let's get some monology cards for Capricorn. Wow, they're just flying out now. Okay, so we have, it's time to take action, new moon in Aries. So it could have been an Aries that you were dealing with, but I feel like whatever this is, this is time not to take action. It's time to go through that recovery period. Okay, go through that healing I do feel like you are taking the higher ground, but you are trying to find meaning in, in this situation, okay? And we have, don't let the past hold you back, okay? So beautiful, Capricorn. Okay, let's go ahead and get your angel number and see what we have for Capricorn. What do we have for Capricorn? What message do we have? angels we have clarity yeah what did i say that that ace of swords energy and that's right there in the middle the ace of swords so 13 13 clarity as the storm passes the clarity is felt faster than lightning is seen against your dark sky the divine is reminding you that clarity is readily available all you have to do is ask you have weathered the storm. Now the sky is clearing, right? Your affirmation, Capricorn, loving energy surrounds me and I trust that the clarity I feel is the answer I need, okay? So beautiful energy. So my beautiful Capricorns, I hope this message helps you. Um, if this resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't, make sure to take a look at your other placements. They may be resonating with you more. And my beautiful, lovely, handsome Capricorn, I'll see you on the next reading, honey. Um, many blessings to you. Love and light.